you are in the vlog starting spot, which means it is a Monday morning. It is currently quarter to 12. I have a very exciting week ahead and I think this weekly vlog is gonna be a good one. I keep calling them weekly vlogs, but really they're about three days and this one is gonna be three days as well because I actually do go on holiday on Thursday. Very excited, Tom and I are going away over Easter. That is not gonna be in this vlog. So this vlog is gonna be the start of my week. And like I say, it is Monday morning. Would you believe me if I told you that I went for a run this morning? My brother is home from university and he is currently training for a half marathon. Of course he is, everybody is. Every single person I know seems to suddenly be like a marathon runner. Really, I think I missed the memo. Like that just didn't happen to me. He was like, I'm gonna go for a jog in the morning, come with me. And I was like, do you know what? Okay, because I actually went running last week with Tom. When I I say running, I mean like I did a two kilometer very slow jog because Tom obviously is kind of like building back up his strength after an operation and he still can't play contact sport. So we went for like a very light jog. Harry on the other hand was like, no, we're going further. We're going to do this. Didn't go much further. Barely was a 3K. But I actually did it without stopping. I was doing it very slowly. Like he probably could have walked alongside me. But I did it. So my Monday got off to a productive start, productive in a different way. I have done a little bit of editing and now it is lunchtime and my friend Liv is actually coming to visit today. So excited. This is also fairly confusing because I actually have three friends called Liv. Um, but this is Liv Burks who I actually know from Melbourne. She was in my videos a lot when we lived in Melbourne. I met her travelling. She is actually from Derby. But she is off work this week and she's coming up to visit me here in Beverly and I'm going to show her the sights. I don't really know what we're going to do yet. I find it very difficult to show people around this area, especially in the winter because there's just nothing really to do here. We're gonna hopefully, fingers crossed, go out for a nice lunch, which will be lovely. There's loads of nice places to eat in Beverly. And then we're gonna go for a walk down the beach. Fingers crossed, if it doesn't rain. If not the beach, we might go to the Humber Bridge because you can do a really nice walk along the foreshore there. Tom and I did it at the weekend and it was beautiful, but it was really sunny. So we're just gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her what she wants to do. She does know the area. She actually used to live in York, so. But yeah, she should be here any minute. I'm very excited. Not seen her for about a month. Thought I'd bring you along. Welcome to the week. I hope you had a lovely week. And I hope you're having a lovely Saturday if you're watching this when it goes up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching for the first time. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, etc, etc. And let's get on with the week. This is how you know somebody's coming round because look how tidy everywhere is. Like, I've actually made an effort. The room even smells nice. Monday morning doesn't usually look like this. Oh, sorry, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. I am with Liv. Oh, it's been a while. It's been nearly a year. Yeah, that's Probably. crazy. Since we filmed that video, this having video. a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This top is so annoying. Sorry, let me just. <laughs> we have had a little round trip, guys. So basically, we went for lunch. So you saw that in the like montage clip. We had a really nice lunch at the Beverly Arms. And then I was like, to Liv, we'll go to the beach. And then I got lost. Yeah, we did get a little bit lost, didn't we? I've seen the countryside that Beverly has to offer. Oh, uh, Yorkshire. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it was so funny because we were literally, we were parked in the car. Liv was like, oh, can you do it without a sat nav? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. I do. I like the confidence. <laughs> Apparently, the answer was no. And we just ended up doing a little detour, saw lots of fields. Yeah. It's okay. We're still not at the beach, actually. We <laughs> just come to Bert and Agnes Hall, which is like a, like a stately home. And do you know what? That was lovely. Yeah, it yeah. is lovely. Sometimes you need to get lost to find, you know, the little places that you do want to go. Oh, look at that. That's very yeah. deep. Like, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I always find the positive. This is not your first time in East Yorkshire, though, is no, it? No, no. I actually went to uni in York, and then I thought like that's very close to yeah, where you live. Yeah, it's not far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have explored it a little bit. And yeah. I do love it up here. It is nice. It is nice. Yeah. So I think, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I live from Derby, so it's about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 yeah. minutes from here. Depending on the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice because it's kind of doable in a day, which is yeah. really lovely. So haven't been that lucky with the weather. It's not, I was hoping in my head guys, it was like super sunny, we could go to the beach. I think yeah. we forgot that we don't actually live in Australia anymore. Yeah, I'm being sad. <laughs> um, it's also, it's actually really sad that the last vlogs that you were in were in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. I know. Where has that time gone as well? Since coming back, honestly, it just flies by. You get back into life. And then um, a whole year has passed. Yeah. But, and it also, though, it really feels like no time at all. Because it would have been from April till Christmas. So yeah. I wouldn't have seen you. And then you just see each other again. And it's like, yeah. like nothing's changed. Well, I've always said that. I felt like the, the day we met, I felt like I'd already met you. Yeah. For, like my whole life. It was so bizarre. Like when I was talking to, I can't even remember who I was telling that you were coming to Beverly. And I was like, oh, I live who I know from Melbourne. But then I was like, oh, actually, I actually know her from Bali. Yeah. But I actually sort of know her through a friend we met in the Philippines. And I was like, do you know what? This is the bizarrest story to actually like have. <laughs> You can know somebody. Yeah, right? really. <laughs> the first time I actually spoke to you was in Jumbo. So we met through a tour guide. Yeah. And he 
rang you whilst I was in a club with him oh, and we like yes, stayed yeah. on the phone. Yeah, because <laughs> we'd both done a true travel tour. Was like, oh, I think you'd really get on with Molly, who was on my last tour. And then one night on a night out, he was called just, me. Yeah, and and like, just put your face to mine. And I was like, hello. <laughs> I literally didn't know live at all. Yeah. So random, but that is like traveling. Yeah. Time. And I think it just makes, like now, I actually find meeting new people so much easier. Yeah. I just think through that experience. Yeah, it's a lot less stressful. Cause I'm like, do you know what? Some people are strangers and then the next day they're your friend. And it's yeah. like, well, that was easy. Yeah. I love that we're steaming the car up. This is a... Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Electric on. This is how you know that you're in the UK again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm optimistic that spring is on the way. Anyway, I think we're going to go find somewhere to get a drink. Maybe go to the coast. We we were yeah. aiming for the ocean. We've we've missed. Because that's the other thing I was going to say actually about Derby. It is actually the furthest point in the UK from a beach. So it's quite nice to get to I the beach. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I actually was like, oh yeah, the Midlands is like very landlocked. Oh. Oh, I actually love this song. too. <laughs> I guess Derby, Birmingham, those sort of areas are quite like in the middle. Didn't realise Derby is statistically yeah, the furthest point away. Wow. And the nearest beach is actually Skeggy, so I don't know if we can even really class that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Skeg well, sorry, Skeggy. Now. I think that means we need to go and see the yeah, sea. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We've made it to the seaside. I mean, mission accomplished. I'm actually terrified I'm going to get splashed by a massive wave. That would not be very pleasant or yeah, very fun. Yeah, the waves are coming up like thick and fast. Yeah, they really are. I am uh, really stupid didn't even check the tide time but it's such high tide and we were walking along the front here and it's just like everybody's getting drenched yeah and there's kind of no beach there's though. no beach there's no beach at all okay. it's nice to be here you know on the top yeah getting some sea air i mean we went and got a drink so that was good we had a little snack that was nice now we're heading back because it's actually just a bit bleak to be yeah, honest but a bit chilly we've, we've borrowed a nice sea. hat to keep the ears warm always <laughs> in the back of my car is a supply of hats for yeah. moments exactly like this not too windy it's an improvement on the last time i was here because last time it was like i came with my mum about a week ago couldn't even hear each other when you were talking it was like yeah. we were screaming over the wind <laughs> that's why they're blowing up so much. i mean i'm just actually a bit scared of it when the ocean looks like that i actually think it's really quite quite frightening it is and also it just looks gross like there's no two ways around that It is brown. It is yeah. fully brown. Okay, you get this in there. People do. People do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in do you want to see what's happening here? Harry, what's happening here? I can't get my contact lenses off. Harry's just gone to deer for the first time ever. Got contact lenses. Oh, I can't even watch. I literally can't watch. How do you do it? Dad's having to watch it. <laughs> watching a YouTube tutorial. I know how to do it. I know you do. Dad's worn contact lenses like his whole life. Harry's just today got them. There's a niche on YouTube for everything. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm actually gonna have to leave. I actually can't. Lottie's got the right idea. Lottie's got the right idea. Oh, this is like wholesome bonding, guys. Yeah, he's making that look so easy. Yeah, but the that. fingers have to be really dry. They are dry. Anybody that wears contacts, you want to send over some tips and tricks in the comments. Meanwhile, I'll just look at the dog because I cannot watch people take contact lenses out. It cringes me out. This is far too eventful. I don't think it takes. I don't think it takes three people and like all of the big lights on to take out your contact. In my head, I was gonna start my vlog when I arrived in the car park, but tell me why there's like literally no light in here. That's better, we'll face this way. But I will just quickly tell you, whilst I'm facing backwards in my car, that I am in York this morning and I'm actually going to get my hair done because when I got my hair done in February, basically I told them that I wanted it like a coppery red and the lady that did my hair did a really, really good job. I've come to a salon in York that actually had messaged me on Instagram the longest time ago, but my hair was not in the best condition and basically the girl that did my hair was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna let your hair like take that dye without layering more onto it because my hair wasn't in the best condition It had like broken a lot snapped a lot whilst I'd been traveling and stuff and like I was actually embarrassed I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry Like I want to be able to take such good care of my hair So in the last six weeks since I had that hair appointment, I have Trap my hair properly like such good heat defense hair oil hair masks like properly looking after it and i've scheduled this appointment for this week so i'm going back today to have kind of just like a root touch up but then also like a more coppery toner put on it and i'm really really excited fresh hair for my holiday at the end of the week and honestly it just gives me such confidence that like having my hair done is such a luxury such a treat but it's also something that makes me feel like really genuinely good about myself because i feel like i come up the hairdresser's being like oh my god who is she so so we're running a little bit late. I need to leave. I'm back from the hairdressers. I'm a bit obsessed. I'm sat in really dull lighting. Let me 
let me move because I feel like what we need is the sunlight because it's really kind of just glowing in the sun. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Also, it just looks healthier. Like part of my thing when I came home was to take better care of my hair, as I mentioned this morning. And I wanted to get another little trim just because I had a lot cut off last time, but I do feel as though some of my hair was still kind of like not split, but like it was just breaking quite easily. Obviously, previously I've had such bleached blonde hair that it's taking a lot of recovering from that and that's entirely fine because that was my own doing and at the time I don't regret that like I really did want to be bleached blonde now I'm like okay you've got your work cut out because can you see it's definitely just shinier healthier kind of auburny but like a brunette auburn very 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 happy with that anyway now I'm going to continue on with my afternoon it's about 4 p.m and I really do need to finish editing the video that's going up tonight that is going to be my Liverpool weekend away vlog so that will already be up on my channel but right now I just need to put the finishing touches to that export it make a thumbnail so i've got a couple of hours so it should be all good thought i would just show you my hair very very happy with it i am back in the car because i've come to pick tom up from work at the moment we're still sharing my car basically i don't know if i've already explained this sometimes i feel like i say the same things in every single weekly vlog and i can't remember what i've told you and what i haven't um but basically tom sold his car when we first went traveling and ever since we've been sharing my car because we don't really need two cars like neither of us rely on a car to get to work which is a very fortunate position to be in. Tom obviously does prefer to drive to work but he can get the train like it is on a direct train route so it's not like essential for either of us which means right now one car is working pretty okay but he is looking at getting another at some point not right now um, but because of that when I can I'll pick him up from the train station so it's just a little bit easier for him plus it's nice to see him plus today I want to show him my hair he knows I've been to the hairdressers but I haven't shown him a photo or anything every time this happens I always just think like He's probably not even going to notice. I also feel like if I hadn't told him that I'd gone to the hairdressers, would he have noticed today? Let's see. Let's see how he reacts. Hi. It's very nice. Like I it. do like it. Do you like it? Do you like it? I do. It's really nice. Happy with it? Yeah, I am happy. You like it. your mum? No. <laughs> <laughs> My mum's not got red hair. Well, I feel like she's a little bit red naturally. Okay. Are, you, are you happy with it? Yeah, I it am. Makes happy you look with it. Tanned. It makes me look tanned. No, I was thinking it makes me look pale. Do you I think? think I need a. I need a holiday. I really like it. Thank you. How was your day at work? Yes, busy, you look, to a point. You look nice. Something is different. I don't know what it is. Something is different. I feel like maybe your swelling has finally gone down. Is it? Is it going down? I don't know. I feel like we've mentioned this so many times. Tom had an operation. Yeah, yeah, maybe. On his nose like a month ago, but obviously it takes a while for the... In fact, it wasn't even a month ago, like three weeks ago. Be a month on Thursday. I think you look a bit less swollen. Anyway, I thought I would just get your reaction on camera because yeah, I was like... I really like I didn't... Well, I did half of me thought you might not notice. Much of it just doing the car, yeah, and just not asked you at all. You can tell, even if I didn't know you were going, I... you can tell. Really? Yeah, you can tell. That's what I just said. I was like, if I hadn't told him I was going to the hairdressers, would he have known? Anyway, it's please, nice. please may help me work out what's wrong with the car. New if issue I with the car this, this week, guys, is that the like... music my music won't play. Is it the lead? No, it's not the lead because the car play is working fine. Anyway, um, yeah, here's Tom. Hello. <laughs> it is 8 p.m. now and I actually have a meeting about the Bali trip. A lot of this has been organised with, well, all of this has been organised with Trover Trip who are kind of like the other party involved in organising this. Obviously, I'm not organising it completely alone, but they are actually based on the west coast of America. So that means that every meeting I've had with them is done at like 8 9 p.m. at night because obviously the time difference in I keep saying LA they're not actually in LA but in my head I'm like the west coast of America Los Angeles but yeah so it's 8 p.m. I'm having a meeting and that is where we're at currently hello hello how are you doing I'm good thank you how are you everybody's just excited about the few flights because most people are coming in from the UK so a lot of girls are going to fly together which I think is Good morning, it is Wednesday. I have just woken up, whacked a hoodie on. I'm about to pop, can't even talk. I'm about to put the kettle on. And today is a very busy day because I actually go on holiday tonight. I'm going over to Manchester airport this evening and we're spending the night in Manchester. We're actually going for a meal. I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna film that in this vlog. Just put the kettle on now, so that's gonna be bad. Um, but yeah, busy, busy work day before then. We've got until 4 p.m. to get stuff done. Breakfast is consisting of coffee, yogurt, blueberries. Oh wait, a banana. I'm gonna add some honey to it. There we have it. I go through real phases when it comes to yogurt and also when it comes to egg. And I think that like, I'm just not a huge lover of either of them, but then sometimes so I'm like, okay, I need to get some protein in. Look at this, it's a source of protein. I would never think of yogurt as protein, to be honest. I don't know why. In my head, I understand it. Eggs, yes. Yogurt, mm. But then sometimes eggs 
forgot the milk. Then sometimes eggs make me feel weird. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're ever actually eating an egg and then do you ever think like I'm eating an egg? I don't know how else to describe it, but like sometimes it just makes me feel some kind of weird way. Yogurt does the same, um, but right now, right now I'm okay with yogurt. That made me sound dead fussy. I'm actually not, but breakfast is ready now, so I'm gonna go and eat it. Whenever I wear these pajama bottoms, I feel like an American dad in an American sitcom. Do you know what I mean? Like, these shouldn't actually be real. They're like a meme pajama bottoms. Anyway, clearly I've woken up in a yap, yap, yap mood, so I'm gonna shut up now. Really long time no chat. I think the last time I spoke to you I was making breakfast. The whole day has passed and I am now in Manchester and I'm staying in an easy hotel tonight which every time I stay in one of these, to be fair I've only stayed in one once before, it gives such student accommodation vibes. Like does this not look like I'm in somebody's first year uni flat? It really, like my own. It really, really does. Um, we are in Manchester for two reasons. One, we are flying out of its airport tomorrow. But two, we have very, very kindly been invited by Gordon Ramsay. Technically, probably not Gordon Ramsay himself. But somebody at their marketing team has very kindly invited Tom and I to come and try their restaurant here in Manchester. <laughs> Somebody's singing outside. Their restaurant here in Manchester called The Lucky Cat. And it's basically kind of like an Asian fusion restaurant, I think, from what I've seen on their Instagram. We are very excited. We've timed this really well with flying out of Manchester tomorrow. So we came a little bit earlier so that we could enjoy dinner here. And it kind of just means that the holidays start tonight, which I'm bloody excited about. Their menu looks insane. And I've never been to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant before, but I've heard nothing but good things. So I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to show you. This is what I'm wearing. This little bodysuit is from New Look. I think I'll probably take the blazer off when I sit down because I really do love the back of it is like all mesh that label's not cute i just looked at that and said whoa do i have a really big tattoo there because i do have a tattoo there but it's not that big there we go but yeah this is from new look jeans are from asos and then this blazer is one that i had tailor made in vietnam and i never wear it because it doesn't match very much but it does kind of match this i accidentally look like i'm going to work though but it is a wednesday evening i feel as though the vibe will be people will have come from work and then we'll be like starting the bank holiday weekend early really early anyway we're gonna go thomas is also suited and booted somebody said uh, they liked your jacket in the last vlog they asked me where it's from thanks it's from h&m h&m men i don't even know if they still sell it it was this season they're probably selling it off actually yeah i think they yeah. did it in a couple colors as well they did they did it in a was it like a brownie beigey color maroon maybe and then your shirt is that, is that a Vietnam shirt too? Vietnam shirt. And it still fits me two years on. I think the shoes are from Airsoft. Is that your Vietnam jacket? It is my Vietnam jacket, I yeah. Wear that. I, it doesn't match anything, but it does match this. So anyway, we're gonna go now. Okay guys, the mains have just arrived and this looks insane. We've basically got lamb shank, egg fried rice to share, spice, tender stem broccoli, and then this is tofu and spicy avocado uh, bao buns. And obviously we had the starters already, which I had a tomato salad and Tom had beef, beef tataki. That was terrible, terrible pronunciation. This looks so good though, oh my God. This was amazing. Ready? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> to me, how do you eat it? I think maybe move then. Yeah. And then I actually went into this in more depth over on Instagram in my reel, but we actually got a behind the scenes tour of the whole building. And this actually used to be a bank. So there was so much history in here. This was probably a highlight of the evening. It was amazing. Definitely check out my reel if you haven't already seen that, but this was very cool. This mural in the middle here is a blue sky with the sun in the middle. Oh, um, uh, okay. It's signified that the sun never sets on the British Empire. Wow, um, okay. That was the theme back then, yeah. Before the building was actually finished, we, India got their independence, so yeah. yeah, that was there, but ironic. That is yeah. ironic. So the ceiling's been the same since 1937? Yeah. Wow. It's great to listen. So we just, I don't think I caught the end of it, we just had like a private tour, which was not on the cards, but I kind of just kind of asked the guy that was serving us, like, could we see a bit more of the building? Because I was so sure while we were set eating, I was like, this definitely had to be a bank. There's no way they built a building that grand. This was 100% a bank. have a lot of history, right? So underneath where we were eating, there was a vault, like an actual vault, not like a mock vault or like a fake Gringotts vault, like an actual vault. And turned it into like a private dining room where you can hire it out for like events or if you just don't want to be bothered while you're eating. And Tom was like, have you ever had anybody call? Come down here and like, you know, 
come in the back entrance because there is a back entrance and he was like oh yeah we get the Liverpool players the Man City players the Man United players <laughs> and Tom's eyes are like what anyway what did so he just like say asking about Liverpool players obviously I don't really care about the Manx <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we are currently in Manchester in terms of the players right and uh, he said he had Trent there uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold I'm surprised you knew his name Trent yeah. Alexander-Arnold um, which is pretty cool and um, he said he was a gentleman anyway um, but yeah he said he was lovely really nice guy apparently it, they have a lot of like really cool people People. Also, this isn't the way we walked, Tom. I think we've got lost. We've got lost. We're definitely lost. Piccadilly Garden. That way. This way. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really lovely evening. If you're looking for somewhere in Manchester to go on like a really beauty date night, 100% recommend that. Not only because the staff were so lovely to us, but also the food was really, really good. Yeah, really good. Really like, nice. I feel like I have been spoiled tonight. So yeah, huge, huge thank you to the Lucky Cat. Manchester and Gordon Ramsay's like group of restaurants. Yeah, we just had a lovely evening. I feel really? so happy right now and also just like I had an out of body experience. Sometimes these things happen and I'm like, why is this happening to me? What? The staff were lovely. Like, the, the waiter that we had all night was such a nice guy. I wish you'd got his then, name. Was he wearing a badge? I don't, I didn't see it, but it's such a nice guy. Lovely, lovely guy. Um, and the, the manager that was then, just showing his Was he the manager, was he? Yeah. yeah, he was really nice. Again, I'm not sure on his name. Oh my gosh, this is the office for booking.com. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've just got distracted, but um, yeah, I think you're like their main funder. Aren't you? I'm literally their main number one client. We're lost, so we're gonna map it now. But yeah, lovely evening. Ten out of ten way to start a holiday. For once, guys, I'm actually remembering to end the vlog when I have just got in from the actual day that it is. So it's still Wednesday evening. Who am I? This is unheard of. I really want to edit this when I'm on the plane tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. This has been a really fun week. And I say week, it's only Wednesday, but I feel like because it is Easter, a lot of people's weeks have ended either today or everybody's ends on Thursday. If you're, well, not everybody's to be fair, but if you've got the Easter bank holiday weekend off, it's a short week this week. It's a short week next week. But if you are watching this when it goes up, I hope you have a lovely weekend if you are working credit to you because it is i was saying this to tom i think this is the longest like bank holiday weekend of the year that is why we've timed this holiday as it is thank you so much again to the team at the gordon ramsay restaurants like pr list for inviting us that was honestly such a treat not your average wednesday i'm gonna link their instagram and their website down below they actually also have a restaurant in london and miami if you happen to be watching this from Florida. Other than that, I'm gonna go. I should be back on my channel on Tuesday. I have filmed a video with my brother this week that I think you guys are gonna enjoy and that's gonna be up on my channel on Tuesday. Have a really lovely Easter if you do celebrate it and I shall see you guys on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.